Welcome to Dance with Disease. My name is Ren. In 2016, my index finger started wiggling, which is great if you're training a dog, but I don't have a canine companion. And then the word Parkinson's came into my life. I knew from the beginning that this was not the downward spiral of doom as guaranteed by the brochures, but a kick in the ass to look at my life and change. This podcast is dedicated to sharing my magical journey of healing through trying every alternative therapy imaginable. Thanks for joining me. Let's dance. Good morning, friends. I had an awesome sleep. It's nice to go into a dream situation, feeling... uh, ready to dream. I had some vivid dreams, and none of them included any of these symptoms. Oh, presently it is May 3rd, my wife's 49th birthday, 613. And I had this thought that I'm going to try to not live today in this physical situation. To just be me. How's that sound? That sounds great to me. Yeah, just to be Ren. I got a job at a bike shop yesterday. I haven't worked in a bike. I haven't, I haven't, been, I haven't been so excited about uh, cycling for a long time. Since I've been cycling in the last few weeks, last six, eight weeks, my whole quality of life has improved. I love cycling. And the fact that I'm going to be working for Pedigo, uh, a premium electric bike company, is just awesome. They make great bikes, high quality bikes, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm excited about the product. Uh, I love cycling. I love the ability to cycle all year round and not and the idea of being our present bike is a fixed gear so there's no free wheel you always always have to pedal and it's one speed and it's a big gear for me and uh, grinding into a headwind or grinding up a a, a, a mountain or a wall of a, a hill shopping, leave the car at home. Oh, yes. And being able to share that that inspired living with other people and, and also be able to use my filmmaking skills. Love it. So many good things. So many good things. Prepare to chic.
got easier to relax. <laughs> Look how relaxed. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I had moments of relaxation. And in my mind, I hear hearing somebody that's a devotee, a devotee of the conventional path, negating my experience or attaching their own interpretation. They're not here. I'm here. You're here. And being present in the moment is the most important part of this experience in this at this time, to be redundant, that is. So, it being present, I actually had a really good moment of, of calm. Like, I've been far and I, what am I saying here? I'm noticing a better ability to be able to let the tremor go in moments, or at least just detach myself from it. It's really interesting to go just reset, relax. Reset, relax. Reset and relax. And even yesterday, I'm in, in this situation where I was feeling like it could be seen as less than in this. Um, interview for this job. I can't believe I'm excited about a job. Like, I've, I've, I've had all of maybe a dozen or 15 jobs in my life, my 51 years of life. Maybe maybe 20 jobs. And, but over the last 25 years, I'm mostly self-employed with the odd job from time to time. <laughs> but I'm excited. It's going to be so nice to have. I think it's going to be really good for my head, too get out of the house, be more engaged socially with people, and engaged in a, in a format that I'm excited about. I'm excited, like, I remember when a friend of mine, um, I, well, a neighbor of mine was telling, trying to tell him, convince me back in, before 2010, maybe 29, 2009 or 08, to consider electric, and I'm like, I'm not old or whatever my judgment at the time was. And, uh, and then I got an electric bike, then I got an electric kit, by, by a Bionics electric kit, and I was like, I can see why. And I had a pivotal moment where I had this woman, I was at a stop sign before I got the electric bike, and this woman was on an electric bike, and she was overweight. And I asked her about it with, and she was like, it shrinks, I think, I'm not sure if I said this yesterday, but it shrinks the city, and flattens the hills she wouldn't have exercised as much. And that planted a seed. And then when you experience it, it's the truth. You can operate it at a capacity, you can operate at whatever capacity you want, but you can also back off and allow the bike to do the work for you and you get the you get exercise that's moderate and healthy, not too much. And in my case I would I'm 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 in this physical position because I pushed so hard for most of my life. And, and didn't take the time to rest. Well, I didn't have the capacity to rest because it just wasn't something I saw value in or felt worthy of. It's actually probably the accurate truth. So I, uh, I now am learning how to rest and being able to rest in meditation. It's awesome. 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 So, man, getting stuff done around the house, being up on the top of a six-foot ladder yesterday, cocking above my head in the awkward position. Awesome. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. And yet there's this ink, yeah. I, and just to allow myself to feel good is a huge challenge.
<laughs> to allow that sense of accepting that this is the, the condition that the body is in in this moment and that I can still feel good. When I nail that, it's beautiful. And when I'm high off the meds and it's at the same time, it's even better. <laughs> I'll say it again, the med, the, the med, it's not meds, it's med. Because I, I don't take the med. I found I get better results if I take the med after this, after the pad. Because it just seems like it's a, a waste. If I can, yeah, I think, I think, what I think, what I think at this moment, I think it stirs up the, the, the microbiome. It gives a better opportunity for the, the, the body to assimilate the med, the chemicals. That's, that's my feeling at this time, because I will, what time is it? 6.52. Yeah, I'll, after this, I'll write in my journal a little bit, then I'll take the med, and then I'll do my yoga practice, and um, I will, um, I'll then, Get on with the day. It's my my wife's birthday. We're doing. We got some soil and some mulch coming in today, which is exciting. And uh, I'm gonna have my. We got ants. Actually, there aren't any. There. Aren't, I think we we patched up the holes. We have ants in our house. I'm having a blast. Modifying, renovating the house. I'm having an absolute hoot, hoot, hoot. And. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's great to be. It's wonderful to be looking after my home. And now, now I've got a job. <laughs> I got a job with a, with a premium electric bike, com bike company. <laughs> the blend of a great world. It's great to be able to share all this knowledge I have about cycling with with people too, within a context, because it makes cycling so much more accessible. And for me, to be able to rip around town is going to be awesome. Get, yeah, just be more active and more outgoing. It's going to be so good for me. Another piece of the healing journey. My friends. I'm on the rise. On the rise. On the rise. Thank you for listening to the Dance with Disease podcast. My name is Ren. It's been a pleasure to have you here today. For more podcasts and the films, Dance with Disease, log on to YouTube, Ren the Artist. See you next time.